Hello, this is Dr. Kim from Hoho Spine and Joints. Today's topic is about a certain type of hand fracture. It's called a boxer's fracture. The main part of which the fracture takes place is at fourth or fifth metacarpal bone, usually at its neck or shaft. The picture shows you where the fourth or fifth metacarpal bone is at your hand. The name boxer's fracture is so because it happens at certain condition where one punches hard objects, such as a wall, with his fist. Now, another notable thing is that the fracture happens a lot more when one throws the punch in wrong ways. When you throw a punch, you want to hit the target with the first two knuckles of your fist. That way, your arm will be aligned with your hand up to the target in a straight and steady fashion not losing any power in the way. But now, suppose that you punch the object with your smaller knuckle, then your wrist will be bent and will not deliver the punching force correctly. On top of that, the metacarpal bones are curved shaped like crooked canes. Therefore, your striking force will be ricocheted off the target surface and act as a deforming force for your metacarpal bones causing it to break. There lies the irony of the fracture's name, the boxer's fracture, in that a real boxer would not throw his punches like that, so that he would not have fractures like that. More often than not, most of the fractures happen with frustrated young men showing his irritation by punching recklessly into a hard wall nearby. If you already have punched a hard wall and have a deep pain on your hand, I advise you to visit nearby clinic immediately to see if there's a fracture. Your doctor will take x-rays and perhaps CT scans to evaluate your injury and determine whether you need the surgery or not. The boxer's fracture does not require major surgery, but it may cause deformity among your hand. The margin of allowance for the deformity is quite small and that the fracture may cause your fingers to overlap when you make a fist. If that happens, you need a surgery to reduce your fracture or else it'll hinder the fine movements of your hand. These are the examples of boxer's fracture surgeries that I have conducted myself. It's usually done with cross pinning with wires, but mini plates and screws may be used in case of multi-fragmented fractures. Today, I have introduced you boxer's fracture. Its incidence is surprisingly high among adolescents and young adults. Me and my colleague have a certain unproved theory that stock market crashes or cryptocurrency market crashes lead to increased number of boxer fractures patients, showing their frustration of the market with their fists. Because we actually had numerous events where boxers fracture patients walk into our clinics every time there are market depression reported on newspapers. So I urge you, please, not to punch walls then you will not have fractures of your hand, at least. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.